Today we're going to look at how to use Learning Locker's APIs. So everything inside Learning Locker is actually available via our APIs. We've got two main ones. There's the REST API and the Connections API. The REST API is available in the docs under HTTP Interfaces Models. It's just a standard RESTful API. You can get models, you can update them, and you can delete them. So the concepts behind a REST API are pretty well documented elsewhere on the web. So I won't go over them here, but I will just give you a quick example. So if we get the URL, and we update it to be the right endpoints, And we've got the LRS model on the end. So that corresponds to stores, learning record stores in LL. If we send that, we should get an unauthorized. Great, that means we've got the right endpoint. To actually authorize, we need to create a client. This is the same as we do for authorizing with the XAPI endpoints, but we just give it slightly different scopes. So instead of assigning it an LRS, we just assign it the all scope. We'll take that key and that secret, and we'll apply those. Now if we send it, we should get back a list of all the stores. Great, so we've got five stores. Let's just clean this up a bit, make it easier to see. So if we want to use the REST API to insert a model, we need to have a quick look at the schema. All the schemas are documented in the docs. Um, so look at the stores. So this is the fields that you're allowed to send. And a quick example down below it. If we change our method to post, this inserts a new model. And we want to change the body set to raw mode, and we need to make sure that we have the JSON header in. The endpoints all accept JSON as their body. There's a lot of stuff we don't need in here. We don't need the statement count, we don't need the organization. Updated that and created that all automatically generated. The ID automatically generated. So the only thing we actually need is the title. As it is, this request will fail. So the JSON specification says that I have to have no trailing commas. Uh, you have to have quotes around everything. And this is invalid JSON as it is. If you're having problems with this, there are JSON checkers online. You can just use one of those to find out where the problem in your syntax is. If I send this as it is, I should get a 400 error. So response is 400 bad request and the body is bad request. Uh, but if I take out the comma, there you go. I get 201 created and I get the model back. There's a bunch of other options that you can use when you're fetching models. Um, those are all outlined in the library for the REST client that we use. So in the docs for HTTP interfaces models, if you scroll down a bit, it will take you to the RESTify documentation. So you've got the option to add a sort, add a skip, a limit, uh, and query. So standard REST stuff. 